International scientists from all over the world are gathered at Hint in Steinkjær this week to participate on the ninth European Conference on Games-Based Learning. So it's just amazing. It's a big international conference uh, with you know, like 160 people participating from 30 countries. It's just great. Yeah. Yes, Berlin last year, Steinkjær this year, Glasgow next year. Yeah. Why Steinkjær? Uh, because uh, Robin and his friend, uh, colleagues have been coming to the conference for a number of years and they asked if they could host it here. And uh, we said yes. <laughs> this is the largest scientists' conference on this level ever arranged at the Nordtrøndelag University College. No wonder they were a bit excited about the number of participants, but they had no reason to be worried. A very nice place. It's, it's lovely and much better than in the big cities. It's, I believe most of the people have been in big cities, but this is a lovely place and learning something new. Well, I have never been to Norway before and I, I, we saw the Northern Lights yesterday. That was awesome. I'm, I hope, I'm hoping to see some scientific Northern Lights today as well. Yeah. You had a good start last night, I heard, with the Northern Lights. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Dozens of lights, <laughs> the entire um, wall of light. <laughs> What's your expectations to this conference? Networking, new ideas, new contacts, fresh ideas, of course. That's the most stealing. <laughs> well, I'm really here to interact with other game researchers. I think gamification is uh, becoming very big, and a lot of people are interested. And I work on games myself, so I'm building both digital and non-digital games. But we really want to measure the, uh, you know, how this can be measured very effectively. And I think uh, this conference is bringing a lot of people uh, with game interests around the world. So I think that's why. The keynote speaker on the first day of the conference was the inventor of Kahoot, a very popular game-based learning platform now played by over 50 million people. What would you say is the most important with the science on this topic? Um, engaging the students and um, also maybe find uh, empirical results whether they actually learn more or get more motivated from the tools, the games. Basically I think a problem is that you have Maybe um, teachers trying to make games, they don't know anything about games. Or the opposite, you have just game developers, they don't know anything about education. So you, you need both. Well, game-based learning is a growing field of research and it's really important for people researching in academe to have the opportunity to come together, not only to present their own research, but also to listen to other people and to network. You'll find the discussions out of session probably more valuable than the actual sessions themselves for most people. I just went to uh, one or a couple of presentations and uh, they're very high quality. Uh, I'm very impressed by the, by the quality of the papers. Then I also hope that the people who attend this conference here this year will take something with them about uh, hint, uh, some, that we managed to somehow show them the great research that's going on here because we may be a small actor but we are doing quite excellent stuff to be to be humble <laughs> do you manage to learn any Norwegian during this day Ta. <laughs> sure talk